Gotcha. Oh, so lilies. Oh, that one was a tank. I saw that one. Come look at that elder mite. And he is a big one. You stay out of those weeds. I thought that was a carp when I first saw him. Chunky smallmouth. Jeez, that is a beauty. I dropped that helger mite pretty much right on top of him. He came and looked at it, and I gave it a couple little twitches, and he nailed it. That was pretty cool. Got him. Oh, that was cool. Well, as you guys can see, the mayfly hatch is on. Oh, this is such a fun time of summer to catch these smallmouth. And they school up around these low hanging trees that are full of mayflies. You see them cruising a foot beneath the surface, picking them off. And they are so much fun to catch when they're in that mode. I got that one on a little natural colored Nico Helgramite. We'll get him unhooked and back in the water. And I'll show you guys how I have this rigged up. So I'm fishing this little guy top water. These Helgramites are pretty buoyant, so I'm using a one aught owner mosquito hook. That hook is light enough to keep this thing on the surface. And that's a pretty good representation of those mayflies that are dropping in. When they land on the water, they have their wings up. And aside from a few extra legs, that looks pretty close to what they look like from the fish's point of view. So I'm just sitting here watching the smallmouth picking them off and tossing that helgramite at them. I thought for sure I spooked that one. And nope, he popped up and smacked that hugger mite right next to me. Oh, that was freaking cool. Come here, you. Man, that is a nice one. Wow. Yeah, he definitely wanted that thing. He didn't seem to care at all that I was sitting right here. Oh man. That one was fearless. 
That was awesome. <laughs>